Hello everybody! I have something a little bit different for you today. This is Dungeon Tycoon. I tried this when it was released as a demo some time ago, like six or eight months ago, maybe even a year ago, I don't remember. But I really, really liked it. The demo was quite, quite sparse. It really just did give you a very small taste of what the game was. But I liked it, I liked it a lot. So. Let's get it, get into this and I'll show you what it's like. Basically, we're building a dungeon to entice adventurers to come into the dungeon seeking treasures and riches and fights and that sort of stuff. So we want to sort of make it so that adventurers will want to come to our dungeon, but also that it's not too easy. As for why we want to do that, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm sure we'll see. So, dungeon name. Dungeon Muk Dungeon Face. That fits, that actually fits. That's great. Okay, yes, tutorial on. Away we go. Welcome, Master. I am delighted to see that you are finally awake. It has been quite lonely here without your presence. This place is a total mess, I know, but have no worries. We can fix it. We'll start attracting delicious adventurers in no time. Let's start off by building a door. You can do that by clicking on the build button on the lower left corner. Yes, we can. Select the door tab, blah, blah, blah. Okay, door tab. We're gonna have it, I think, slightly offset just to have like a jaunty angle. Yeah, a jaunty, a jaunty offset door. Uh, next, let's build a chest to store the loot of fallen heroes or monsters. So this guy's like our doorman. We'll see him in action in, uh, in a bit. All right, let's go a wooden chest. We're gonna put it in the, at the back there. Nice job, now let's put, build a spawner so you can summon me to deal with the filthy adventurers. Filthy adventurers who dare step into your mighty dungeon. Go to the spawners tab, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all this I remember from the demo. So we'll pop that there. Yep, he wants us to build some lights. So it all has a very Minecraft aesthetic and I am all for that. Oh, hey, well, that's neat. I hadn't seen that before. Uh, I am all for that. Let's put a torch there. Yep, so there are decoration ratings and satisfaction ratings. So we want to make it a nice dungeon, but not too nice. Also, decorations can go on like multiple layers. I really like that. So this torch is going to go up there. Nice job, master. I knew you still had it. I sure do. Now go out of build mode and assign me to the spawner. You can that do that by clicking on the spawner and then clicking the change button. Uh-huh. That. So this is really cool. As we go, we will unlock new monsters that we can spawn. For now, we can only spawn the crawler, which is fine. Finally, this feels amazing. Now you can decorate the dungeon to your liking. Time for some research. Start your first research. You can do that. Yep, 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 yep. So there's a whole tech tree that will become apparent as we go. Like all this will fill up. So for right now, we can do potion business. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We can start the next day whenever we're ready. Can I build the potion dispenser? Please follow tutorial. Fine. Fine. Okay, start the day. Uh, click start day top right. Start next day. Now let's wait for our first visitors. Spider, Spider's really, he's really gung-ho about this. Here they come. Can we do anything with him yet? No, we will be able to later. You can set like a, a price. Yeah, there we go. See, we have got a price, 10 gold. Oh, the spider immediately <laughs> killed it. Oh, sorry, I guess I was too rough on them. That's okay. When heroes die, they get really annoyed and that can affect your dungeon's popularity negatively. But hey, you earned a soul. You can use that to do really cool stuff. Anyway, let's try this again. I think that's why we're doing it, to collect souls. We're, we're, we're running this dungeon to collect souls. For what end? Not sure yet. There we go, 10 gold into the coffers. So that goes directly to us. Hey, there we go. They killed him. See how happy the adventurer got? Building a dungeon is all about optimizing fun, is it? Okay, so the heroes keep coming. Make sure to strike a good ba balance between keeping them happy and annoying them with cheeky traps. I guess you are ready to run your own dungeon now. Don't forget, striking a good balance is key. Good luck, my lord. Yeah, so then this is pretty much it. We build rooms, we build traps, we do research, we have uh, monsters, we make decorations. 
Come on, you can do it. Yay. Oh, they didn't even kill him. Come on, you can kill him. Come on, kill him. He's got so much health left. Kill him. I think he's poisoned one of the adventurers. That's right, they worked together. And then all the money they, that gets collected gets dropped in the chest. The problem is, if if no more uh, monsters have been killed, no more adventurers have been killed, the chest will have nothing in it. So we have to have enough monsters and enough rooms and stuff. Uh, yeah, look, too little monster variety. I wish there were more monsters to kill. Incredible loot. So yeah, we're, we're not getting a great rating just yet. Just yet. So. Complete, uh, all right, finish the day to unlock. Right, 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 right. Just let these guys finish off. Uh... Oh, cool. Now that's neat. The heroes come in with different classes now. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. In the demo, they didn't really have classes. But yeah, I think we'll end the day now. Are you sure you want to end the current day? Yes. Y E S. Research complete! You have unlocked the Potion Dispenser. The Potion Dispenser allows visiting heroes to purchase potions whenever they need a quick heal. Okay, so we had 10 visitors, we earned 110 gold, we claimed one soul, satisfaction of 12%, that's pretty, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Okay, so, 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 let's build another room. Let's build, do we want a small room, a medium room, or like a long skinny room. Let's go with, oh, we gotta watch our money as well though. Okay, let's build one of these just here. Cause we'll have that as like, no, 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 this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna have that there. Yep, and have that there. And we're gonna build a door. We're gonna build a wooden door right there. Yep, yep, yep. And we're gonna have, oh yeah, the potion dispenser. Well, the potion dispenser I feel should be right near the entrance so they can buy potions as they come in. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. We'll find out, we'll find out. So then we're gonna have a monster spawner, no, no, a wall torch, we want a wall torch there. And another one on the other side, there. We'll have this lead somewhere eventually. Do you, can we afford to do it now? Maybe, let's try. Oh yeah, 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 I can afford that. I can afford that, okay. So then we'll have another wooden door there. And we're gonna, I think, I think from memory, the treasure chests only fill up from monsters killed in the room that they are in. So if I have the treasure chest there and the heroes kill the monsters in here, that chest won't fill up. We could test that though. We could test that. So let's put pots in here. Yeah, we'll put some pots in there. We're gonna have another monster spawner in the first room, right there. And we're gonna have a monster spawner in here. Also that room needs some lighting. Uh, wall torch right there and there. What other decorations have we got? Oh, none. Okay, that's fine. Do we have any traps yet? We do, we have a spike trap. So we're gonna have a spike trap right here. <laughs> they can walk around it, sure, but they probably won't. No, ah, uh, research. Yeah, there we go. Oh, more rooms, energy potions, attack totem, defense totem. So it unlocks a magic totem that boosts nearby heroes' defenses and that'll raise their, yep, raises their attacks. Interesting. Interesting. And you can see the criteria for unlocking stuff is visits. It's not money, it's not souls, it's visits. Souls get spent on other things. So for right now, I reckon we'll go with more rooms. Yeah, so we can make the dungeon much more interesting, you know? Much, much more interesting. What's this? Quests. Oh, right, sell five potions. Ah, there we go. We can collect that money, lovely. Oh, we're gonna unlock stuff as we complete the missions. Ooh, kill seven visitors. Okay, okay. Uh, now, can I, yep, cool. Oh, I've only got Ah, here we go. I've only got the one monster, but I can summon new monsters. Oh, look there, souls. So we can unlock new regions to summon monsters from. Like that, Let's summon a monster. Oh, choose one? Well, that's a spider. That I don't know. That looks like a zombie? Let's go zombie. 
Oh, it's a skeleton. All right, it's a skeleton. That's a giant rat. Huh. Well, let's go with him. Get a skeleton, and we're gonna need another monster. What did we get this time? Wolf, wolf and giant rat. So wolf has a lot of health. Oh, they're all basically the same. Well, let's go with the giant rat. Oh, I have actually picked that one. Okay, well, we'll pick him. <laughs> we'll pick the one we picked. We have a skeleton in the main room. Uh, yep, how do I assign him to this? Change that, there we go. And this room will be the wolf for now. And wolf, there we go. Okay, I think that's good for now. I think that's good for now. Okay, start next day. Wait, can I... Okay, can't interact with him yet. What's this? Bestiary. Oh, oh, there's quite a few monsters we can summon. I like that. This tells me all the monsters I currently have. That's the overview of the dungeon. And that's our dungeon finances. Cool. It's a proper tycoon game, which I really like. Here we go. Let's start the day. We should be able to get spawners later on for the for the uh, for the heroes, which we could put outside the dungeon. So when they die, they don't just have to leave entirely. There we go. See, he's going to get overwhelmed, but more heroes will join. So it's fine, I think. He's unhappy. <laughs> he's going to die. There he died. Well, we claimed a soul. That's all good. Oh, a wizard. Oh, see, in the in the demo, they really only had warriors. So this is really cool to see. There we go. You guys did it! Yay! You did it! So they're fighting the wolf. Is the wolf gonna kill them? It might. Oh, it killed them! It absolutely killed them. And this guy's dying over here. <laughs> oh no. I think my dungeon might be a little bit too brutal at this point. But, you know, you know, can't make it too easy. Then what's the point? You gonna find anything? No, you found nothing. They do just keep walking over the trap, which is hilarious. I thought they'd see it and walk around it. Apparently not. That's it, lads. That's it. <laughs> Lionel Fletcher has leveled up to tier two. That's right. They gain their own levels and stuff. Oh, that's really cool. Has that run out? Oh, what the? What the? Okay. Um, oh, so I can change how much it charges. And I can enhance it with souls. Oh, upgrades this vendor to a higher quality one. That's interesting. Okay, what about the chests? Lo wait, 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 wait. Lock. Minus one soul per day. Why would I lock it? Hmm. Okay, interesting. Okay, so how are we doing? Okay, we need to do more. We need more visitors to complete our research, but quests. Kill seven visitors. Oh, we've only killed two. But I've sold five potions. Heck yeah. Nice. All right. Ha host 12 visitors in one day. We've nearly done that. Oh dear. Another one died. End of day two. Okay, so the day does just end by itself eventually as well. Hey, we've got satisfaction up. That's good. We had 11 visitors. Nice monster variety. Wish there were more monsters to kill. Could use a heal right now. Darker rooms will cause heroes to walk and act slower. That's interesting. Okay. So, 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 so. How do we go? Oh, we didn't get enough visitors to, to get unlock more research. But, 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 but. What if, right? What if we put more treasure chests around the place? Like, give them more incentive to wander around aimlessly. And, 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 and. We have like another monster spawner and we have it in the hallway here. All right, right there. Yep. Is that, that's not a monster spawner. I had the wrong thing selected. That's fine. That can stay. This is the monster spawner. <laughs> a lot bigger. Okay. We'll put that there. Click to assign a monster. I'm going to need to summon a new monster. That's okay. We've still got some money. There we go. Oh, oh, those bats. <gasps> we got a green quality one. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, I kind of want the slime, but that's fine. That's fine. A bat is going to be good. 
So, yep, 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 yep. The bat can go right there. Giant bat. So that's kind of good for a hallway monster. I like that. Now, can we afford the potion dispenser? 250. Nope. No, I can't. No, I cannot. Uh, I kind of want to... I, I want this to dispense more potions. I think it ran out too quickly. Yeah, it only has five. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's start the next day. Here we go. Day three starts. We've got our monsters ready to go. We've got new treasure uh, receptacles, I guess you'd call them. That's it, lad. Edmund Jackson. He's a warrior, and he's got attack speed debuff for some reason, and a speed debuff. Don't know why. There's his happiness. That's his level. Yeah, he's leveled up. He's got a bit of money on him. This is good. This is good. This is good. They're both... Okay, that's not poison. The green face I thought might be poison, but no, it's 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 their happiness. It's their happiness rating. Oh, look, there's an inventory. You can see their inventory. And we can pause. Did you bring anything? Okay, so they don't bring anything. That one, he's got a potion. I really like that. Like, you know, like in a... In a roller coaster tycoon type game where you can look at your visit park visitors and see what they're carrying. <laughs> this this has a lot of charm. Can I build? No, you can't build while the day is active. Fair enough. This has a lot of charm to it. Can I zoom in any further actually? I'd really like to get a better look. Um pressing all the usual buttons for zooming. No. No. You, I mean, if you're all going to go to the same pot, of course you're not going to find any treasure. There we go. Giant bat stands right on the on the trap. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. Well, there, there. Yeah. Okay. They might get some treasure. <laughs> I really like this. This is really charming. So there's the bat. What's that? Strong attack. Oh, so I can look. Can I like level them up or something? Oh, and you can set them to whether you want them to patrol or not. That's interesting. Hang on, where's... There, yeah, okay. So, patrol. Oh, so if I turn that off... Yeah, you just stand still. Okay, I want the wolf in this room to be at the back of the room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So we're going to have him not patrol. That's neat. That's neat. Oh, this guy's going to die. There he goes. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> Remaining visitors. Interesting. You, As you attract visitors and manage to keep them satisfied, a golden color will start filling your stars. That means your dungeon will has proved itself to be a fun dungeon and it will determine the quality of your visitors. Yeah, these stars. These stars up here. Rating and popularity. Yeah, yeah, there's not a lot of treasure in there, sorry. Oh, you found some. Well done. I think, I think this means, since it says zero remaining visitors, we have had all the visitors who are going to come to the dungeon today have been to the dungeon today. So whoever's left in the dungeon, they're our last visitors for the day. Oh, another one died. But his sacrifice allowed another hero to survive. You are on so low health, my friend. I would not walk over that trap again if I were you. And he did it anyway. Oh, but he survived. Well done. Edmund. Edmund. Where, where's Edmund? Edmund Mason. He leveled up. Oh, and another hero dies. <laughs> oh, dear. Man, Edmund's doing well. The ranger's doing good for himself. Don't walk over the trap. Oh, he stopped to fight the bat. I don't know if he's going to make it out of here alive. He's still going to fight these two. Oh, drama. Drama. He's, he's, start, he's starting to lose his health. He's, he's starting to lose his health. Is he going to run for it? No, he's staying and fighting. He's trying to make a break for it. He made a break for it. No, no, he nearly escaped. He nearly escaped, but decided to not escape. And he's going to die. Oh, Edmund. Oh, Edmund. <laughs> you were doing so well. <laughs> oh, well. Our dungeon reached 0.5 of a star. Research complete. You have unlocked 8x6, 10x8, 9x9, and 6x12 room. Nice. Okay, nice monster variety, incredible loot. I could use a heal right now. 
Hey, now satisfaction's up to 63%. Only five people died. Very nice. Okay, so, 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 so. Quests. Uh, yep, we finished that one. I can collect dirt now. Lovely. And we killed seven visitors. We actually killed nine. Whoops. That gives us money. Cool. So completing quests is valuable for money. There's a lot of stuff here. Oh, like decorations, skulls, wide painting. Small painting, tall painting, iron door, large painting, wooden floors, small painting, reinforced doors, tall painting, <laughs> wall mural, wide painting, stone bricks. You get the you get the gist. You get the gist. So 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 so. Where's our flooring? Where's our flooring? Where's flooring? Traps, monster spawners, miscellaneous, vendors, rooms. Hmm, light sources. Where's flooring? What if I like select this room? Ah, there we go. Change to dirt floor. Lovely. Uh, beauty, luminosity. Ah, so you can see. So 92% satisfaction for this hallway. <laughs> That's good. This room has only 53% satisfaction. That's a shame. Oh, luminosity could be higher. So let's pop in some more torches. Has that got the luminosity up? It's 80% now. That sounds good. And ooh, soul reaper. Chance for heroes to drop an extra soul. More monsters. Increase your monster limit by two. That could be good. Prestige buffs heroes satisfaction on entrance. Energy potions, oh yeah, the rest are the same. Ooh, let's go with prestige. Because we'll start attracting some, you know, a better class of hero, which is what we need, really. Now, what's, can I do anything to this? No, I can't upgrade it. Yeah, okay, so. Let's put another potion dispenser in. I just put it in this room. Let's put it in the hallway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Love it. Is there anything else I could do right now? Maybe another pot in this first room. Maybe another pot there. Just so there's more treasure for the heroes to find. I think that'll make them happier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's start the day, shall we? I don't think we need any more monsters just yet. I think the monster levels are good. We just have to make sure that the heroes are having more fun. We gotta have more fun in the dungeon. Who's this? Giles? Giles or Giles? Let's call him Giles. Giles Jackson. Giles Jackson. And then we've got Sire Thatcher backing up Giles who died. Giles is dead. Bye bye Giles. That's filling up with treasure. That's got treasure in it. I think Giles is about to die. Oh, Giles survived. He bought himself a potion. There you go. And he's using the potion. Very good. Good job, Giles. Oh, you see how much money they're carrying too. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So that's still got some treasure in it. Come on, guys, don't be greedy. Don't be greedy, there's treasure for everybody. Well, there's not. There's actually not treasure for everybody. There's not enough. But, you know, pretend there is. There we go, lots of people buying potions. Love it, love it. Have this, has this been sold out yet? No, that's not been sold out yet. But that one is about to be sold out. Love it, yep, get, get your treasure. Get your treasure while you can. Oh, that's fun, the fireballs are homing. <laughs> this room is a bit of a it's a bit of a schmuzzle. Uh that's good. Oh, potions bought. Another potion bought. The wolf is being taken on by Cedric Carter. Oh Cedric, that's a good name for a wizard. Cedric, you bought two potions? Huh. Oh, Cedric leveled up. I think Cedric's gonna survive this, I'm gonna be honest. He bought two potions. And he is kicking ass. How you doing, Cedric? Cedric Knight. Oh, he's leaving. Oh, he's had his fill. 
He didn't even use his potions. Oh, his treasure bag is full. Oh, they can only carry so much treasure. 44, you got 44 gold on you? Okay, monsters, I need Rowan Warden to die, please. He has too much treasure. We need that treasure back in the treasure chest. Please kill him. Ah, uh, he's gonna make it out, he'll be fine. Oh well. Very good. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of space here to build. And I picked the medium-sized dungeon. You can get a bigger one, or you could also do smaller. I don't know why you do smaller. Maybe for the challenge? Maybe for the challenge of really, like, making it compact? I don't know. But you can make some pretty big dungeons. Oh no! Satisfaction went down! Oh no! I wish there were more monsters to kill. Nice monster variety. Satisfaction went down? Why? Satisfaction for this room went up. This one stayed the same. This one stayed the same. Why did satisfaction go down? Oh, I'm so sad. I need one more visitor to complete the research. That sucks. <laughs> what can we do to improve visitor satisfaction? Well, I gave them lots of treasure to find. Maybe we'll have a bit more light in here. Maybe some more luminosity will help. And maybe in this room as well. Some more luminosity. There's not really much else I can do. I haven't gotten all that much money. I'd love to make a really, really big dungeon here, but I think you guys, I think you get the point, guys. I think this gives you a good demonstration of what this game is all about. There are different monsters you can spawn. You can build the dungeon however you like. There are decorations. I just don't have any yet, but you can place them about the place, you know, like skulls and candles and stuff. You can really make it how you want. Honestly, honestly, if I were to continue this dungeon, I would make this just an entry room. I'd possibly have one or two pots, but no more than that. Definitely not a treasure chest. I'd have a few potion dispensers, and then I'd have multiple hallways going off it leading to other rooms that had monsters and treasure chests and challenges and all that kind of stuff. And I'd try to have like a big room at the back here that has like a big boss monster and a whole lot of small monsters. That would that would be my uh, my goal for this. But this is the kind of game where you could really do it how you like. You could have this hallway just be full of bats, absolutely full of bats. You could have this room just be nothing but skeletons or nothing but pots. You know, you it's that kind of game, and I just I just adore it. I just adore it. There'll be a link to its Steam page in the description of this video in case you're interested and want to go check it out. I highly recommend it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'd be interested to read your impressions of the game if you do try it out. So please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. This video was brought to you by these very generous people. Thanks guys.